Less than a month ago in Little Falls, Colorado, 33 people were infected with the metavirus, altering their genetic structure. Normally, 1 in 5 million experiences genetic transmutation annually, but now, it's 1 in 1,000 per week. All victims are in the United States. Many infected individuals have either supported local police or used their powers for crime, leading to a rise in violence. The task of containing the chaos and preventing further deaths has been vast, particularly for the man involved since the beginning. Lois Lane believes Superman deeply understands every tragedy and trusts he'll end the crisis. Superman heads to Washington today to meet with President Lex Luthor. In a high-level White House meeting, a crisis is discussed, with Lex Luthor emphasizing immediate action action both domestically and internationally. Superman raises concerns about past American technology misuse and is tasked with ensuring justice. Secretary Waller questions Superman's suggestion of a self-attack. Superman emphasizes the need for full information. Agent Chase provides details. A genetically enhanced mosquito, surviving cold, spreads contagion, activating superhuman abilities. Chase plans DNA decoding in a day, connecting the technology to a Bialian operative. Deep in thought, Superman emphasizes the need to assist affected Americans, and directs officials to understand the virus and reverse its effects. He plans to investigate Bialya with the U.S. government and implies significant consequences if their involvement is confirmed. In Bialya, Colonel Rajak, a political leader, is delivering a speech, warns America about their actions, saying they'll face consequences. The crowd supports him. He mentions hidden weapons from Bialya's allies. As America wakes up, what will they find? Before the leader finishes the speech, a massive explosion causes widespread chaos and destruction. Superman arrives, his face reflecting shock and horror as he witnesses the destruction. Outside the White House, General Zod grasps Colonel Rajak and orders to destroy Bialya's military complex and stop all transmutations immediately. Zod drops Rajak before President Lex Luthor declaring, he's yours to punish. Luther directs the soldiers to hold their fire, stating, The U.S. can't approve this strike. Superman confronts General Zod with anger and disbelief, demanding to know why Zod has caused the deaths of thousands. Zod claims his actions in Bialya prevented greater loss of life and proposes neutralizing Bialya to stop the spread of metahumans. Superman angrily rejects this. Luther suggests addressing the root cause, and Zod agrees to discuss the geopolitical impact with him. Later, in the Fortress of Solitude, Superman insists on proof and a cure for the situation. Mr. Miracle, operating advanced machinery, comments on the power needed. John Henry reveals he has something significant to share, and urges Superman to sit down for the information. At the United Nations, Superman reveals that a new virus with Kryptonian genetic signatures is causing metagene transformations, turning thousands of Americans into metahumans. He pledges to reverse the effects. At Star Labs, Lex Luthor proposes a temporary fix for the gene bomb fallout, turning the sun red to deactivate metahuman powers until a permanent solution is found. Wonder Woman is shocked, but Luthor reassures her it's necessary, though there's a small obstacle. Zod reveals the plan to fly the primary node into the sun, prompting Superman's objections. Despite Luther's assurances about the UN-approved subspace lenses, Superman questions the Bialian's knowledge origins and warns of empowering Zod. Zod requests a private talk with Superman who agrees. Superman urges Zod to hurry with his plan, emphasizing the urgency due to lives at risk. Zod, acknowledging their mutual conflict, expresses disappointment at Superman's failure to fully recognize his capabilities, hinting at a deeper connection Superman may be avoiding. General Zod warns Superman about the dangers of a red sun, pledges to protect Earth from numerous threats, and questions if Superman would do the same. Confused, Superman asks how. Zod promises to explain if Superman survives the challenges ahead. Superman and Zod fly in space, as the President announces a critical mission to save humanity, involving top minds and brave soldiers. He assures the public that any transformations will be harmless and temporary, urging support for those involved. Superman and Zod engage in an intense battle, using their strength and abilities to fight against a swarm of superpowered adversaries. Superman and Zod victorious over their enemies and fly into the sun to fix the problem caused by the Jane Bomb. Their goal, to temporarily fix the issue caused by the sun turning red, which deactivated metahuman powers. 